Hi, I'm Nadi Dansari and in this video I'm going to show you what is root motion and why you should use it and how we can use it. So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporter for helping me to create all of these videos. And second, I want to say please, please, if you can, please hit that like button right now. Thank you very much. So in here we have animation and first of all I want to go to Mixamo to show you some animation. For example this animation and you can see it's moving forward right. So if we download this and bring it in Unreal Engine and use it it will go forward. It won't stay at the place unless you click on in place and the animation should play at in place right. So let us see and you can see it's at its own place it's playing that animation right but if you uncheck this in place it will move forward okay and if we use this animation without this in place what will happen in um, without add movement forward or any keyboard it can be played and go forward okay so there are a lot of animation like this let me uh, show you another one like this jumping down right this animation doesn't have in place right so you can see it's up here and it jumped down right so if you want to use this kind of animations we need root motion Okay, so let's just go to Unreal Engine. I did bring this animation into the Unreal Engine and retarget it because the body of this is not the same as the body of that old man. So it does didn't do a great job, but it's okay for demonstrating, right? So now you can see in here, if I go to character and bones and it in here tell all hierarchy to show all the hierarchy, and you can see in here the root bone is changing its position so if i go to a skeleton tree and click on root bone and in here go to character bones and tell it to show the selected only bone and you can see the root bone is changing its position and rotation right so the bone the root bone is moving right so we want to use that in our game so first of all let's just use it as it is if we go to our game and play our game when we play this okay it will go up and after it finished the um, animation it will go back so if i hit the space you can see it will <laughs> go up and it will jump and you can see the capsule is not changing its position with our character right the capsule stay at the place but animation go uh, out of that right so if you want to see this capsule just go to your uh, character class go to capsule and in here there is one for rendering okay in rendering category in hidden in game just uncheck this hidden in game and now you can see that capsule okay so in here you can see the capsule that it to stay at the default position and if when we want to play that animation you can see the player the mesh of our player or a skeletal mesh of our player it goes up like uh, we saw it in animation and it jump down and after the animation is finished it go back right so no i want to show you how you can use a root motion so what is the root motion the root motion is to change the position and rotation of the root bone with our skeletal mesh like we see it in here we can do it in Unreal engine but because i did um, import this from mixamo it all it already has root motion and if you want to know how you can import animation that has root motion in it and retarget it for, for whatever character that you have please tell me i will create one for you so what you should do in here in this animation you should go to root motion and enable root motion just check this now you can see it is stay at the place now if we save our animation and in here head play just watch the 
capsule. If we hit play, the capsule is changing with our skeletal mesh. You can see the capsule is moving with our skeletal mesh. Let us again see it. And you can see the capsule is changing its position and rotation with that. Uh, now I want to show you how I did play it in here in just jump. When they had jump on their keyboard, we play a montage. And what I did in animation, I just right click on it and create a any montage. I did talk about it how you can do that, but you can do it as well. If you don't know how you can play this animation, just watch my video about any montage and you will learn a lot about that. So that was all about the root motion. Of course, some animation doesn't have root motion, okay? And you should create a root motion for them. But most of the animations, by checking this root motion, enable root motion, it well, it will work if you retarget it correctly. So let me fast show you my retargeting uh, IKs, okay? So first of all, in this Mixamo, I want to clear this search. And this is the IK rig of our Mixamo character. And you can see the root, I tell it from hips to hips, okay? So... If you didn't watch my video about retargeting, please watch it. I did create one for whatever character you have. And I did create another one for retargeting Mixemo characters, right? So what I did, what I did add to that retargeting is just this root. I did create a chain in here and tell it the root is hips and hips. Because in Mixemo, the hips is the root, <laughs> okay? So know this and add this root from hips to hips, just this bone, right? Next, go to your dragon. Let me show you the dragon. And in our dragon, the root, you can see it's from root to pelvis, okay? The chain of the root is from root to pelvis. So when you do that, you can have whatever animation that has root motion in Mixamo and use it in Unreal Engine. And you can see it. The root should be from the root bone that is in here and the pelvis that is in here, okay? It's exactly the same as hips, right? One thing that I shouldn't forget to tell you is this. Go to your retargeter and in here make sure that um, uh, you're going to chain mapping and in here Click on your root and in here, rotation mode, it should be interpolated and the translation mode, it should be at absolute. So it is, I think it's at default, it's at none. And you can see when we play our jump animation in here, let me find it. You can see it's not, uh, <laughs> it doesn't have offset, right? So if you put this at absolute or and you can see everything is cool. So make sure that you change the root details for uh, translation mode to absolute. So with that, everything should work fine. And you did create a root motion animation with Mixamo animations so that was it guys for this video for root motion i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye